So, um, you are working now. You has a new job. I has a new job. Well, not yet, but I has a new job coming. Yay! Took freaking long enough. Things are everything's coming up. Nash. No, it's not really. But you know, that's a little frightening. <laughs> hey, um, yes, yeah, a little bit frightening. But yeah, you know. That doesn't mean, however, that I'm going to stop doing this stuff here uh, because it's a gold mine, let's be honest. And by gold mine, I mean, you know, uh, maybe a change machine. But, you know, it's something. Um, and we have some stuff this week. We, we sort of have a potpourri this week. Some, some jumping around we can do because it's not really con confined to any one sort of madness. Just mm -hmm. various and random sundry, so a it's... A smorgasbord of madness, if yeah, you will. Yeah, kinda. Um, a madness buffet. We've got some very ill-advised things that get done, so let's, uh... Let's... Do. Yeah, but these, this week, in fact, our very first story this week... Oh, boy. Um, let's, let's get this up on the screen. <laughs> Each week, Catherine goes out worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff and brings it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, oh boy, uh, just... Okay, we've had the whole terrorism shit going on for a while. Got the guy with the ricin and the, the Boston... Um, it seems like, the, I mean, the fake... Claims always ramp up after a real thing happens. Like some idiot decides to call in a bomb threat yeah. to everywhere. Don't do that. But, That's not funny. But well, yeah, we had a really tense week where lots of shit was blowing up. We had that thing in <laughs> Texas. Shit blew up. Everybody didn't know what caused wasn't that. that. Wasn't that awful? So it's probably this was probably one of the most ill-advised goddamn fucking things you could possibly think to do in the midst of all this. Mario theme box appears on an Arizona street, prompting a bomb squad inquiry. Think, people. Um, oh. Mysterious box familiar to players of Nintendo Super Mario games appeared on a residential street in Tempe, Arizona last week, prompting local police and fire officials to cordon off the area as they search the package. Residents of the area discovered the box and contacted local authorities who sent fire and police officers, including a bomb squad, to investigate. Inside the gold box, which was decorated with white question marks like those found in Mario games, bomb technicians found, quote, miscellaneous papers, but no threat. And also no mushroom, which is kind of a chip. And no coins either? Come on! Come on! Miscellaneous papers? Yeah! That's all they say, miscellaneous papers. Look, if you're going to pull a prank like that, make it worth it. Put a giant fake coin in there. Fill it with Hanukkah guilt. <laughs> or Put a giant plastic flower in there. Or get or some portabellas, you know. A snapping mean? turtle. Ah, uh, well, that would. Be creative. If you're going to be an asshole, be a creative <laughs> asshole. Don't half-ass your assholery. Uh, it's just insulting. So they have also, to use their whole like ass something. to be an asshole. Yes. See what I did there? It's right oh, there in the word. There you also, go. It looks more like something the Riddler would leave than a Mario box. I know. Yeah, it's look how shoddily it's taped together. I, yeah, I got to put that on the big screen because it's just it's that's crappy, man. It's poor craftsmanship. Man, those light bright things from uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Had more care and crafting in that sh than that shit. Those yeah. had quite a lot of crafting. Yeah, this is this, and the box doesn't even close all the. What the fuck, man? No. Oh. But seriously, if you are where are the standards anymore? This was a bad idea. Yes. This bad. What the hell? Why? What? Why? Given all the shit that had been happening. Yeah, you know what? You probably were planning to do this little prank for a while. OK, reschedule. For fuck's sake, because the last thing people want is to be freaked to the head. We last week it was scary as shit. 
one thing was happening and then fucking fertilizer plant blew up and then there was rice and going in the present. We were all we were all like, Jesus Christ. Their their sentence should be that they have to jump up in the air and smack their head on a brick for like two hours. <laughs> Let the punishment fit the crime. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's see here. Uh, okay, speaking of crimes, uh, got the segue going. Um, I don't have kids, and I don't think you're planning on it either, are you? No. Or at least, yeah, no, yeah. You got the nieces and nephews. You get to play I'm a with professional the, aunt. Right. You get Good to times. you get to play with the sisters' kids, and then when you're done with them, you send them home. Yes. Um, Fill them with sugar and give them back. Yeah, that's great. Um, but. <laughs> And that's that's I don't have them. So I I would like to think if I was saddled with one, I would try to instill some sense of self-preservation and, you know, within them that that wouldn't, you know, result in them getting destroyed. Well, this mom, not so much. Police mom told kids to fire BB gun at parked cars as she drove. And this is from Long Island, New York. Long Island. Long Island. A Long That's my Island. spawn point. Um, a Long Island, New York woman bought a BB gun, then drove her two children and another boy. So she had someone else's kid in there, too. Oh, awesome. Around had them shoot at parked cars. So Guess who's not allowed to play at your house anymore? <laughs> Susan Becker, 43, uh, was arrested Friday. Police said there were more than 60 reports of damage to car windows in the uh, areas over the past two weeks. Police said Becker's 13 year old son and 15 year old Ilandia. daughter. Ilandia. Ilandia? That's my mom lives in Ilandia. To have her check her windows. Um, police said Becker. I would hear about it, I think, if someone shot out her windows. Becker's 13 year old son, 15 year old daughter, and another 15 year old boy were involved, making several charges, including endangering the welfare of a child. Okay, this is the neighbor's quote here. Susan is a great mom. She's a great neighbor. She's always there to help everybody. A very all-American typical mom. I can't say enough things and nice things about her because she's such a nice person. She bought the BB gun. This is truth because they... Who bought this gun? That lady because we got her credit card receipt and all this stuff and the store camera. She bought the gun. And then she's driving around. The kids have the BB gun and shit's happening. No! Look, BB guns don't kill car windows. Teenagers with shitty parents kill car windows. Have you ever had that happen to your car? No. Oh, it's the most fucking annoying thing because sometimes it'll cause it to shatter. But sometimes it'll just be like a little hole embedded in the glass. Just like knocked out. The glass is intact otherwise. Just got this little... And it's annoying because it let, lets air in and shit, and it makes it makes a whistling noise. Yeah, the noise, I imagine, would be the thing that it's made like me teeth grindingly bad. No, but yeah, I mean, and it's fucking expensive to fix. I just don't know what would make you think of this as a fun family activity. Yeah, you know, not not going to the movies. It doesn't seem like it was targeted at anybody. It was just random acts of violence. Hey, kids, get your coats on. We're going to go shoot at cars. Yay! Like they're really lucky they didn't, like, accidentally hit any mailboxes because then it's a federal offense. Uh -huh. Like, smashing mailboxes, actually a federal crime. Yeah, that I'll... gets you in federal pound me in the ass prison. I love all those kids who, like, do that shit and put it on YouTube because... It's called evidence. It's a federal crime. But this one, I, this okay. Also, this is probably the most half-ass drive-by imaginable. Because just with a BB gun, really. Yeah, but on certain parts of Long Island, you're pretty excited for a half-ass drive-by. And not only that, this is America. And America. People oh, have yeah. people have guns, real guns. And say they see you sticking your fake gun out the window of your car and shooting at things. Some of those people with the real guns might shoot back. And people on Long Island are insane. Are they? I come from there. Yeah, they are. That enough said. That it's the place that birthed me. <laughs> 
don't yeah. randomly shoot at things there. Everybody there is crazy. Don't don't antagonize them. Don't make eye contact. Learn to be have submissive gestures. If you get approached, roll over on your stomach and present your neck. That's pretty much. If the LIE wasn't a straight line, I'd be convinced that it was actually that demon highway from Good Omens. I remember that. Oh, Neil. All right. So. We've seen inept crooks. We've seen crooks who priorities all out of whack. But I almost feel sorry for this guy. I say almost, but I almost kind of feel sorry for this guy. Um, let's see here. Almost, yeah. Um, it's Florida. Clerk laughed at Bandit and just said no. And he looks sad. I'm sorry. I put him on the base screen because look at him. He looks sad. Oh. Wednesday evening, a dude wearing a black ski mask. A dude? Uh, black gloves, blue jeans, and a green shirt entered the village pizza in Spring Hill, brandishing a knife and demanding money from the clerk. The female clerk assumed the mask man it was joking and told him no twice. It worked. So the man left the pizzeria, he removed his ski mask and fled the scene in a small silver car, but not before one of the workers got a good look at him. Ah, bless your heart. Give me your money. <laughs> no. Give me your nope. money. Nobody with a neck tat should make the pouty face. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that, that Becky Hop in the channel. Give me your money. No. Please. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, he just looks so sad. Dude, you have a knife. Okay, uh, this is probably your purview here about the criminal bit, but you got a knife. Well, presumably they have a pizza cutter. Hmm. Uh, okay, should, should I make the joke about the crater face here? I'm trying to work out a joke yeah. about bringing a knife to a pizza cutter fight. <laughs> I, it's How would you kill somebody with a pizza cutter? <laughs> That'd well, be like... You get it spinning real fast, and you yeah, that'd be like the weirdest. That'd be like the weirdest murder ever. Like the victim was cut into six exact pieces, <laughs> but not cut all the way through. <laughs> like a quarter of an inch at the bottom. That's not cut all the way through, <laughs> but just at the edges. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> don't you hate that they don't cut all the way through the pizza that yes. makes me insane. Yes. I just it, this guy have some self respect, man. Commit yeah. to your chosen profession. Yeah. If you're gonna rob the pizza place, I mean, if you don't at least walk out with a free slice of pizza, I know. At least have the have this common sense to haggle. Yeah. Or at least have the temerity to just reach across the counter and grab a slice of pizza before you make your sad getaway. Yeah, don't take and don't take the mask off before you're gone. No. This is this is 2013. There are cameras in everything. There's, yeah. There's also windows. Pizza places tend to have windows. They can, they see, can see you. Yes. It's not like once you get out of there, you're invisible. See, okay, D86 in the channels, DG86, very helpful. He should have stolen the tip jar. There you go. Something, anything. Yeah. Make it worth your trip. Uh, all right. OK. Um, I hate people who, who say Darwinism. This is Darwinism in action, natural selection, because it's kind of an asshole thing to say. I say it sometimes. I shouldn't, but, you know, it's kind of I an asshole. <laughs> what? I say that. Well, it is. It's a bit. But in this next case of this next story. There's no other word for it except natural selection waiting to happen. 
This has become a thing now, people. I, I, I can't even describe it. Don't let driving without a steering wheel be the next stupid trend. Oh, look at that. So apparently it's a detachable steering wheel. Race cars have them so drivers can fit to their seats over the jungle bar, jungle gym bars of a roll cage. Road cars have them because they look cool and they act as a reasonably good theft deterrent system. Just take the car off while you park. But people are doing it when they're driving. Um, I have I have a story. Oh, God. So when my mom was a kid, they had this one armed milkman. I know. They had this. Pause! <laughs> How did we. It, it, you know, it relates directly to this, actually. Okay, okay. When my mom right. was a kid, they had this one armed milkman. And I guess he was like a notoriously bad driver. Not because he had one arm, just because he had a, he was a really bad driver. And he, I guess he had, every now and then, like not everybody in the town drove when my mom was a kid. So every now and then he would give people rides places. Like everybody knew him and he was a nice guy. He was just a terrible driver. So every now and then he'd give people rides places in the milk truck. And I, I'm probably getting details of this wrong. The gist of it is, if you were in his truck and you complained about his driving, he had a detachable steering wheel and had it set up that he could still steer like with a column with his feet or something. And he would literally rip out the wheel and hand it to you and go, okay, here you drive. I hate you, milkman, Dan. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. So th my, my mom's one arm milkman <laughs> had the detachable steering wheel all the way back in the 1940s. Well, this isn't probably not the idea there because Oh, look at this jackass. All right. <laughs> Are we sure story time with Tara isn't just her trolling us? I promise you. Look at this Who jackass. Could make shit up? Who could make up someone setting a dachshund's ass on fire? These aren't things you make up. Uh, th this this is my life. Do you, see, do you Guys, you at home see this jackass right here? Do you see that picture of their... <gasps> I've detached... <gasps> yeah. Oh... It's like detachable penis, only way less cool. This is. <sighs> Folks, is this really something? You, are we that bored? It's like every time we get a little bored, we come up with horrible fucking ideas. And shit happens like taking your steering wheel off while you're driving. And I really got to say. This it has to be Darwinism or natural selection or something. This has got to be nature's way of clearing out a few people from the, the evolutionary ladder. Even if you're on a straightaway, you better pray your tires are aligned perfectly. Most cars, their tires aren't aligned perfectly because you hit a pothole now and again. And unless you get your tires aligned like every day, they're a little off. Yeah, mine, so, all, mine draws to the left. Right. So most cars, if you take your hands off the wheel will pull left or right, depending on which way your tires are skewed. So even if you're on a straightaway, you're not going to go straight, most likely. Well, my main problem with this is not just the fact, you know what, if they're just doing it themselves and they, you know, remove themselves from the world, fine, that's your call. But my pissed, they could hit somebody. They're going to hit somebody else. Yeah. These fucks. Why the hell does the insurance company still let them have a car? Fuck's sake. It's got to be a bitch to insure. <sighs> Is that even legal? No, it's like, not. Yeah, like in Connecticut, you're not even allowed to have a spoiler past a certain height. That's that's not legal. You know what else isn't legal? OK, so wh wherever you fall. Sodomy? No, sodomy is legal most places now. Well, depends on the partner. Uh, well, no, no, it's it most. Well, most places. No, 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 not sodomy. No, no, something <laughs> much less fun. Uh, I don't know where I don't care where you come down on the issue. But recently we had a big push for uh, gun legislation and it kind of got butt fucked. And I, 
I have never seen Obama as pissed as I saw him after. He, did you see him at that press conference? I didn't even see him, but I heard it on the radio and you could feel like my radio started to spit smoke. Like you could feel the fury just over the radio. I wish, I swear to like God. SNL when they do the rock Obama, when he gets really angry and turns into the rock, I kind of kept waiting for that to happen. I was, I wanted, I was waiting for, to, for suddenly does, does Barack Obama have to choke a bitch? I was waiting for it, but no, there was a reason I bring that up. Because there is a, you know, again, however you fall down on this issue, your politics, your feelings on gun control, there is a reason that legislation was was proposed. And um, it's definitely this guy. Father and son threatened fast food restaurant with AK-47 in a row over chicken wings. Father and son drove to a fast food restaurant and ported an AK-47 machine gun at a cashier after they did not get the chicken wings they ordered. Antonius Hart Sr. and Antonius Hart Jr. drove off from Pirtle's Chicken in Memphis before re- realizing their wings were missing. When the repair returned to the drive through the cashier offered to replace the pieces, but they demanded more chicken after being forced to drive back to the restaurant. Art Sr., 45, allegedly revealed the AK-47 he had brought with him. When another restaurant worker saw the gun, she called police, who have charged Hart Sr. with aggravated assault and his, his son, 19, with facilitation of a felony. Police covered the weapon in 24 live rounds of ammo. Restaurants not commented about the alleged incident, but customers gave their opinion. Okay, this is the, probably one of the stupidest fucking... The final quote? Tanya McGraw said it was, quote, crazy, but could improve customer service. I have, allow me to give a proper impersonation of Tanya. Yes. Well, next time they better get them wings right. <laughs> Not the wings, them wings. Them Very wings, different. right. Next time they better get them wings right. I just mother fucking God. Do you know what the beautiful part about all of this is? <gasps> okay, what co- computer wrote in? got those fucking wings. They got jail. Computer Ronin, KFC, trigger ficker, finger licking good. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, they, they should. I mean, uh. nothing that comes from a drive through is worth it. No, no food that comes from a drive through is worth jail time. No. And, and it's only food. They can only they can't legally call it food. I think it's like food stuffs like food product. If you're if we're dealing with like spit roasted Komodo dragon basted in the blood of a unicorn, fine. Maybe shoot somebody if they fuck that up because it's a rare meal. I'm going to go still with don't shoot people because I'm generally a don't shoot people kind of person. But if you're going to shoot someone over a meal, make it fucking worth it. It's not even lobster here, man. It's fucking no, wings. Fucking drive through wings. Drive through wings, man. I, I, it, I, I would, I would bare minimum when it comes to wings. It would have to be like wild wings or something. You know, that's bare minimum. That's, that's I, like the. I'm not gonna go for drive for drive. You're pulling an AK for drive through wings. Come on, man. Standards. I, I never really saw the point in wings, to be honest with you. I didn't like, either, really. They're messy, and it's mostly bone. Right. And it's like two bites worth of food just get the drumsticks like they're kind of gross and pointless to me i don't get it like i like boneless wings because you get to eat the whole thing yes but wings like everybody looks ridiculous eating them because you're doing this (laughs) there's like two bites and they're messy i don't get it what is the thing with wings and why do men love them so much because you can't look cool eating them well, apparently it's, it's it's like the man food equivalent of finger sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, man, did you see that game last night? It was fucking awesome. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't get it. Uh, I don't at all. You're saying wings are delicious. You know what else would be delicious? Putting the same sauce on a drumstick. On chicken. Actual chicken. You, you do realize the wings are little because the chicken don't fucking fly, right? They're calling us un American for not liking wings. Y'all sad. Okay. Yes, I, I am a communist because I don't like wings. The last story. 
This is not one of those clench stories. This is one of those, oh God, Jesus, fuck, yeah, stories. And the kicker is at the very end. So let me get there because that's the one of those things that you're just like, Jesus Christ. This comes to us from Hanoi, Vietnam. And uh, I, I've done a lot of stupid things for money when I've been broke. Um, you ever donated plasma? No. I did. Yeah, I, I when I was in college, I needed money. I donated it's plasma. It's not like donating if you get money for it. No, it's not. But they call it donating. It's sell. It's sell. Yeah, I sold plasma. But um, yeah, I did the did the plasma. I I would do any odd jobs I could to get money. I understand sometimes you need money. I have never needed money this goddamn bad. Vietnam police sees 53 king cobras from car. Vietnamese police say they have seized 53 king cobras from a ha car in Hanoi and arrested the driver. Um, the uh, officer da Dang Van Han, I think I'm saying that right, said Monday the live snakes be taken to a wildlife rescue center near the capital where they'd be treated before they were released in the wild. The snakes, which were kept in green sacks, were seized Friday. Han said the car driver told officers he was paid to transport them. Local media reported he was paid under $50. That's not even a dollar a snake. Not even 50000 not 500 under 50 And uh, yeah, it's like maybe, what, 79 cents a snake? I'm going to transport cobras, which are fucking terrifying. You're going to pay me at least like a thousand dollars a snake. I just I. In fact, they can bite you through those. Because yeah, cobras are mean shits. Yeah. They, well, I mean, not if you leave them alone, which is what you should do. If you leave them alone to do their snake business and their snake habitat, they will leave you alone. If you fuck with them and put them in bags, they're going to bite the fuck out of you. Because you've made them angry. Yeah. I just, it's a cobra. King cobras. I, guys, how deadly are the king cobra on the deadly fucking scale? And they're big. That's Where? why they're king cobras. Yeah. Where did he get them? Like, did he Some, have to go catch them? No, someone paid him to transport them. So pretty much a guy handed him a bag and said, here, drive these someplace. What's in the bag? Cobras. Okay, I want at least 48 bucks. That's my, uh, no lower. 48, man. 48 bucks. <laughs> That's, he, he needs to work on his negotiation skills. Yeah, learn to haggle. Suppose, given the tradition of stories we've done, at least he wasn't transporting that sack of cobras <laughs> in his stomach or up his rectum. Like, at least they were just in his car. Oh, God, I'm trying to imagine some poor bastard trying to stick 53 co king cobras up his ass. <laughs> Hi, I'm Johnny Oxville. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't think you'd get past trying to put one king cobra up your ass. No, they're... before you came a really unfortunate obituary. Uh, Normac eighty six in the channel says they're twenty feet long. Is that correct? Is that that this, is it king cobra? No, no that can't be. Possible. That's like pythons and shit. Yeah. King cobras. I mean, maybe six like. Feet. Well, it says in there it's five point five meters, 5. eighteen 5. feet. Okay, okay, yeah, eighteen feet. Okay, that cobra. Three of those. That cobra at, at, at 18 feet. That cobra that, is as tall as three of me. Or as long as three of three of those. Where was he keeping them all? What was he driving? Man, I just see him in a Yugo doing this shit, you know? Yeah, like. Some sort of like a Dotson hatchback. How do, you get those in, how do you even get something like that into a sack? They had to have been sedated. No, you just kind of get a loop around their heads and you do whatever the fuck you want with them. Because you can hold them at a distance, put a loop around them. Yes, but they're so big and they can move. Well, yeah. That's why the, that's why the loop is on a big stick and you, you stick the stick. No, but I'm saying just to get them into the bag. 
Well, they had to have sedated them. Otherwise, maybe. some part of it's going to slither out. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. All That's I know. She said, but. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? If OK, if just to, to elaborate on that, if part if part of your partner is slithering, it's time to, to consider leaving. I'm just let's just, you know, that's not good. Um, hey, you know, some people pay extra for that. So what have we learned? And we is not for us to judge their life choice. So what did we learn this week? Fifty three dollars is not a good rate for transporting large venomous animals. Yeah, get it. At least get a buck a snake. Yeah. Haggling. Haggle. Also, speaking of haggling, if you're robbing the place and you have the weapon. Get something. Get something. Have a little dignity. <laughs> I just I can imagine he still has that pouty face on. He probably. No. Oh, but. You know, I just <laughs> get something. Also, um, time and a place, kids, time and a place and a time and a place for a big box with question marks on the side left abandoned on a sidewalk is not after the week we just had. Totally not after that. No. Also, time and a place for AK-47 shooting practice, not the drive through, not the drive through. Why? Why are you out and about with just an AK? Hey, uh, hanging out in your car. Does that go with you everywhere? Well, you know, so you got to use the AK. Gotta say, wasn't a good day. You're the devil. Strong Island. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you got your tire iron, you got your jumper cables, you got your AK 47. <laughs> it's not how that works. And speaking of Long Island. Yeah, they will fuck you up. They crazy. Don't point things that look gun look like guns at people. Try not to look Long Islanders directly in the eye. It makes us aggressive. It's like silverbacks, you know? Yes. They will try to establish dominance if you do this. And much like the chimpanzee, when you think we're smiling, we're actually just baring our teeth in a show of aggression. Yeah, she doesn't really laugh so much on the show as she, she's she kind of wants to throw it most of you. I'm just warning you. That's my battle cry. If you see her in person, um, just try not to make eye contact. Um, you know, yeah. Um, and I guess finally we learned <sighs> natural selection will find a way. Just unfortunately, it's going to take other people with it. Yeah. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do it. Something the scientific community has let, yet to learn. Yeah, we're, we're all grow a human ear on a mouse. They made. Did you see the kittens they made glow in the fucking dark? Yeah, those poor kitties. That's messed up, man. I mean, just because you can take the steering wheel off your car doesn't mean you should. Unless you're a one-armed milkman, then it's kind of okay. 